What's up Blationaires and Blationettes? I am about to review the second season of The Walking Dead, so if you have not watched this second season, um, get off this video because there's gonna be spoilers, so that is your warning. Get off this video. Go get caught up. Get on Netflix if you got it. Get caught up. Now, um, I, I really love this season because you get to dig deeper into the characters. And they didn't really get to do that too much um, in season one. I mean, like outside of Rick, really. But um, um, we get to dig deeper into like each character, like Rick, Shane, Daryl, uh, Rory. You know, everybody. And um, and then you finally find out what the fuck did Jenner whisper in Rick's ear? You know, and you know all of that. You know, a lot of, you know, a lot of. There's a lot of bag of shit that gets thrown into the fam. You know, in this season. <laughs> I mean, like one is that. While everyone's hiding from a herd, um, um, and Sophia, um, you know, actually um, gets caught by a walker and she runs off in the woods. And then Rick catches up to her, and then they have to split up. And then he tries to, fend, you know, get the walkers away from her, and then put them down, and then go back and get her. You know, see if. But I don't know. I mean, if I were if I were Rick, I wouldn't tell her like, if you're gonna go out, just go with the sun on your left shoulder or, or whatever. No, I'm not going to tell her that. I'm going to say, no, keep your little ass in there. I'm going to come back and get you when I put those, you know, walkers down. I mean, like, that, that's just me. I mean, I get it. You know, Rick gave her the option, like, okay, like, if you want to go back, be sure, to, you know, to have the sun on your left shoulder. And then, 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 no, I would say, no, your better chance is to stay where you are, stay where you are, and then I'll come back and get you. But, um... You know, and that's what the first, the whole first half is like. Where we're, we're trying to find Sophia, and then they find another safe haven along the way. And um, you know, like um, after Carl got shot, you know, like for you know, saw a deer and it hit the deer, and then it hit him, and then that was really intense too. And um, wow. Um, and Shane, man, that dude tumbles down a rabbit hole in this season, like for realsies. Like I'm at the point where I'm like fearing, I'm fearing for every member of the group, um, and you know, especially Rick, and um, and I was almost convinced that he was going to kill Dale because every time, you know, a couple of times Dale called him out on his bullshit and how he saw him point the gun at Rick in season one, and he's just calling him out, you know, and then, you know, and <laughs> it seemed like Shane wasn't having it. And I'm like, whoa, Shane is going to kill Dale the first chance he gets. I mean, it seemed like it was building up to that, and then Lori gets pregnant, and then, like, wow. I mean, like, the drama with that gets, you know, the, it thickens, and, you know, it gets thicker, and it's, it gets, it spread, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, like an infection. I mean, like, seriously. And, um, and then Gwen, you know, um, has a love interest, you know, and you got Maggie. Um, you know, when we first meet her, she's sort of like this, you know, like, an average young you know younger you know girl in her early 20s and and where she doesn't really know what she wants for herself and whatnot and then um i have to say like you know the more their the relationship progressed i mean the more they brought you know she brought the man out of gwen and gwen brought the woman out of her you know honestly <laughs> and then um you know, when they're at the farm and then they discover that there's bar there's a barn full of walkers, and you're like, okay, what what is going on here? Are we safe here? I mean, what is Herschel up to? I mean, is I mean, is he trying to is he gonna feed us to the walkers or what the fuck is he doing? But um he, he um you know he wants to uh, he, he believes that the walkers uh can be cured and that they're not that the people who turn are not dead, you know, that they're they're still there. They just have to find a cure. But um as far as we know, there is no cure, and um, and when um, Shane cleared out that barn, that was probably the only time, well, one of the two times in this season that I was on his team. Every other time was with I was on Team Rick, but in this, in two times, including this scene, I was like, yeah, Shane, clear that barn out. It needs to be done. Do it, do it, do it. And then we see Sophia is in the barn too, and as a walker, you're like. Holy fucking butt whiskers. <laughs> like, ah. And that's like a big game changer because you start to lose. I mean, I mean, it. this season really hit me. Like, when, they, when you lose characters in this season, I'm like, okay, this is really, really, really hitting me. 
I didn't feel that with the other characters in season one that they've lost, you know, like, you know, like, and at the camp where they were at, and then when the, when the, um, the, the herd of walkers attacked them, I didn't feel that impact the way I felt it this season. That's just me. But, um, and then they come across, you know, like, the first, um, first group, uh, first group of threatening people, you know, like, that means to do harm. And, you know, like, um, but, and then that's the, and it's the first time, you know, Rick sort of broke his code, like, where we don't kill the living. I mean, like, he had no choice. I mean, the guy was going to blow his head off. So, you know, Rick, you know, did what needed to be done. And, and I don't agree with Rick for bringing Randall back to the barn, back to the farm. Um, I was on Team Shame for that as well. Like, why the hell is he here and whatnot? Like, I mean... What did we say? We let him go and he goes off to find those other guys and then he brings them back over and then, and then you know, I mean, Shane was right for killing him. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, Dale was trying so hard to really defend this kid and get in and, and try to, you know, make the group give this kid a chance to earn his keep. And, you know, and, but, I mean, Dale meant well, but, hey, that rhymes. <laughs> Dale, you know, he, he meant well, but... I was on Team Shane, like, you know, we need to take care of him. He's got to go. <laughs> and, um, and then it came time where Shane needed to go, too. I mean, like, it was, a, like, a bit overdue. I mean, like, Rick gave him, you know, more more chances than he deserved. And then, you know, you're going to lead him away from the barn just to kill him in cold blood. And say, you know, um, Lori and Carl forgot about you. They'll, they'll forget about you again. It's like, and he's all taunting him, like, you got a broken woman, you got a weak boy, you, got, you don't have this first clue on how to fix it, raise your gun, Rick, you know, and shit, that, that was crazy, I mean, like, Rick really, really, I think this is the season where Rick really evolves, I mean, all that happened last season that he had, you know, that he just came to grips with was that, okay, the, um, this is the zombie apocalypse, and, and whoever, you know, when you come back at these as these things, you're gone. You're dead. So put those things down, or let them tear you apart. You know, but um, this is where he really evolves. Like where he was forced to put down, you know, some some of those people in that group, and Shane forced him to put him down too. And that's when Rick discovered that Jenner was not bullshitting. He was being for realsies. Like everybody carries the infection. However else you die, if it's not a headshot, you're gonna come back as a walker. And um, and that's what he tells the group in the season finale when they had to leave the farm. That was really fucking intense when they had to leave the farm. And um, and, and then they lose Andrea along the way while trying to, trying to get away and they thought she was attacked by the walkers. And, um, and then we see, and then they introduce Michonne in an awesome way, like where we, um, we we're not gonna get, you know, uh, character development with her but this is going to be her introduction and then we'll get that you know the character development in season three but what i loved is also that um the way we had we got to know daryl a bit more like okay so this season shows that he's he's not like his asshole brother um he's trying hard to find sophia and when he's had when he's hallucinating about Merrill, you get an idea that they're totally different from each other even though they're both pretty hot-headed but they're different from each other other than that you get that sense like when he's hallucinating about them like like their relationship is not all you know um you know just um i guess gr you know green grass and sunshines and unicorns and shit you know but um i, I love that and i loved how rick's Rick, this is the season where Rick steps in, where he really steps into leadership. And this is like the battle of leadership this season between him and Shane. And at their, and this is where Rick really, really stepped up as a leader in this season. And he tells the group that this isn't a democracy anymore. And if you want to, you know, go fend for yourself, I mean, go ahead. You know, see, let's see how far you get. And then, shit. <laughs> and, man, I mean, so much tension there. And how Lori... You know, was encouraging Rick that you know to take care of Shane. Um, he's a threat, and and you know, he 
he thinks the baby's his, and he thinks I'm his, and da 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 And then when Rick finally does take care of him, and then it's like, Lori is just like, okay, like, like, what do you want from me, woman? I mean, what? I did what I had to do. I mean, why are you doing that? What? what? You know? <laughs> but, um, shit. <laughs> and, um, I know this is the season that people hated Carl. I didn't that much, even though I wanted to slap him, you know, like for, um, you know, in that episode that Dale died. Not necessarily for that, but for how he was acting prior to that. But, I mean, you know, he, he's gotten out of that, you know, a little bit, but, but that all being said, it gets, I say this gets four and a half chairsmans out of five. One, two, three, four, baby, and a half. <laughs> so, um, what was your favorite moments in, um, in season two? Um, I have, like, too many. I mean, like, one is when Rick, you know, we see Rick kill the living for the first time. And um, when Rick put down Shane, and um, and then he came and Shane came back as a walker, and then Carl put him down. I mean, I loved every, I, lo I loved almost everything about this season. And um, but um, I don't know. Let me know what you thought. I mean, do you think it, it holds up? I mean, like I think it definitely does. I mean, it has replay value for realsies. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this review, make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel. And be on the lookout for my review for Season 3, and it's coming soon. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>